Happy Monday, Dolphin fans. We hope you all had a great weekend. Today's episode, we'll talk men's weekend, upcoming OTAs, and the potential for a Super Bowl to be played here in Miami in the next few years. Let's do this. The 20th annual Fins Weekend was held this past weekend. We wanted to send a special thank you to everyone who participated. Whether it was golf on Friday, the captain's party, fishing on Saturday, or the awards party, we really appreciate everyone who took their time to make it such a meaningful weekend. Donations from the 2016 Fins Weekend will contribute to its million dollar commitment to City Year Miami. And speaking of charity, one that is very near and dear to my heart is the George Nation Foundation. This past Saturday night was the fifth annual White Party Fundraiser which a bunch of the guys on the team and I attended. And this is the only charity I know that allows us to get on stage and sing. Tomorrow starts OTAs. For those of you who may not know what OTA stands for, it means organized team activities. I don't know about you, but my guys and I are ready to get back on the field. During our OTAs, we'll focus on new offensive schemes, technique drills, and coming together as a team with our new coaching staff. Tomorrow is a big day for South Florida and the South Florida Super Bowl host committee. The NFL and the owners will be voting on the 2019, 2020, and 2021 Super Bowl locations. With the personal investment over $500 million by Mr. Ross, our stadium is ready to host the big game once again. Tomorrow we find out. Well, that's it for today's Dolphin Daily. Thanks for stopping by. We have a lot of work ahead of us, so make sure you check back throughout the week to see our progress of OTAs. Go Fins!